sun's coming up. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday. Another day of trucking is upon us. Our topic of conversation for the comment section today comes from cdllife.com. You can go and find the article there. It was written by Wimberly Patton on October 12th, 2021. And the headline reads, first Tesla semi-charger spotted at Nevada facility. Now, how does this make you feel? Let's read a little bit of it. I'm not gonna read the whole article for you again. You can go find it and read it there. Uh, Tesla's first semi-truck mega charger has been deployed at the Tesla factory in Nevada. The electric semi-truck charger was first spotted on Tuesday, October 12th at the Tesla factory in Story County, Nevada. Do you think this is going to be a thing? Do you think that this is going to be a big thing or is it just sort of going to be a little thing on the sidelines? Personally, I can't see how they can make long haul trucking work with electric trucks because the charge time is just going to take too long. But if they build the infrastructure for it, it is possible, but where are they gonna get all these batteries and where are these batteries gonna go after they're depleted and cannot be used anymore? I'm sure they can come up with some kind of recycling option for them, but uh, these batteries require a lot of lithium and uh, it's not very environmentally friendly to mine all that lithium, especially in large quantities for what we would need if you wanna move the entire trucking industry to electric trucks. I'm not against electric trucks. I would try one, I would drive one, and if the infrastructure is in place, I I, I would try it out. I'd give it a shot. I'm not gonna knock it till I try it. I don't know how they'll work in cold weather. I don't know how they'll work up here, and there are probably trillions of dollars of infrastructure that need to be put together. So it's gonna be very expensive, and is the cost worth it? I don't know. I'm not an expert in this stuff. So it says here, Although the Tesla electric semi-truck was initially unveiled back in 2017, neither the trucks or their required charging stations have been put into full production. The production has been pushed back until sometime in 2022 due to battery cell supply. There you go. Uh, they report that Tesla is expected to have more pre-production semi-trucks built at their Nevada facility for testing and other logistical requirements in the near future. So what this charger that they spotted sounds like, it sounds like it's just at their facility where they're gonna be testing it, and testing how fast it charges, testing how well it charges. I really hope that they do cold weather tests on these chargers and trucks as well, because if you wanna sell them up into the, nor into the northern USA and into Canada, they're gonna have to pass some pretty hardcore cold. Because uh, Manitoba, we get down to minus 50. So does Montana, North Dakota, and Minnesota. We get really cold up here, and if you want to uh, capture this market, you're gonna really have to conquer the cold. I don't know, let me know what you think down below in the comments section uh, about these electric trucks coming out. I know this is gonna be a hot button topic, so I'm expecting a lot of comments from you guys. Let's just uh, let's just keep it civil, okay? There's probably some of us out there that are uh, uh, excited about it, and some of us that are laughing at it, so. Uh, Let's all be friends in the comment section. All right, let's turn our lights. I always check my high beams on the tire shop in front of me there before I drive off. Just to double check, triple check. Let's roll out. I do have an assignment for today. We are picking up another load with a roll tight step deck up in the small town of Toulon, Manitoba. It's about an hour north of where I am right now. And they're not ready for me quite yet, but I'm going to make sure I'm ready for them and then head up there a little early so that if they're ready for me earlier than they expected, I'm ready for them. Look at that sunrise though. Hey, let's point our nose this way for a second. Look at that sunrise. Sun is just popping above the horizon right now. Beautiful. I love this part of the day. Here we go. The yard is a little wet, so I don't want to get my truck all full of mud and dirt again. 
because uh, despite what you may think, I have kept it clean and I want to keep it that way. So I just putt over all of this so that I don't uh, get too much dirt on it again, you know? Another day. We're gonna go find our step deck right away, but I just gotta run up here real quick. Use the driver room. You know what I mean? The coffee went right through me. Look at that. Now that's a Keystone Sunrise right there. My plans have changed. Uh, Toulon's not ready for us today yet, from what I've heard. Or I don't know if someone else is gonna go pick it up. I don't know, but I got taken off of that assignment anyways, and I got put onto a van assignment. One of these dry van trailers. 5084F is what I'm looking for. And I'm gonna pull it out to Portage La Prairie and pick something up. Now where are you? 50, 54, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. There she be, that's a five, zero, eight, four, and an F. That will be my trail. I'm gonna drag that all the way to Portage La Prairie. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Sure yet, but I think I might be taking a different trailer. We got an air leak. You hear that? I think it's coming from one of those front brake pods. Well, no more air leaks. Guess we'll just chalk it up to cold weather. That's good. There's air in all the tires. This trailer should be empty, I'm assuming. I'm assuming, never assume, always check. Place some spite light, yeah. Lights up there. Come on. Oh, this is one of those I need two hands for. One second here, one second, hold on. I need two hands. Okay. Oh. Empty and pretty clean too. My compliments to the driver who dropped it here. He swept it out. Good. Working, working. Now I forgot to spike the brakes. So I'm gonna have to come back here second time. Second time this week I've done that. Now I gotta walk around the truck twice. But filled with air, good. Tight, tight. All the things are in place. Where's my high-tech device? Here it is. It's a very high-tech high -tech brake light checker device. Very expensive. Pull that down there. Yeah, hook it on there. It's a very hard to find device, but uh, when you find one, you hold on to it. So I spiked the trailer brakes. And uh, come back here, give it a check. Brake lights are working. Good. Because those are important. You want to you you want the people behind you to know when you're slowing down. Because uh you know it won't hurt me if they rear end me. It'll sure hurt them. You know what I'm gonna call it. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. One second. Where is it? here somewhere. Uh, my new gloves. Where are you? Very important. This time of year, very important. Oh, all my cleaning products. I take them home with me now because uh, it gets so cold in the truck at night, I don't want them to freeze and burst or something, you know? I protect them. All right, I found it. Now I'm ready to call it. This is a big moment for the season. I'm making the call. 
It's officially toque weather. At least in the mornings. There is a hundred percent chance of rain in this area later this afternoon. One hundred percent. Like the weatherman is getting carried away with his confidence. One hundred percent chance of rain. You better believe I'm gonna call him out when he's wrong. <laughs> In all honesty, I'm pretty sure it's gonna rain myself, but wouldn't that be funny? So Portisville Prairie is about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes west of here. I gotta get onto the Trans-Canada Highway. And it is sort of halfway between the city of Winnipeg and the city of Brandon in southern Manitoba. Right in the center of southern Manitoba. So if you came up from the U.S., it'd pretty much be straight north of... Uh, make sure I get it right because I said it wrong last week. Straight north of eastern North Dakota. There's my door right there. Got to get these, got to get my own doors open first and then back in there. What do I got hanging in here? What's this? Oh, I picked up a little hitchhiker. What, what in the world? Oh, it's just stuck in the plastic. Okay, thought it, <laughs> I thought it was stuck in the rubber hose at first. All good. Let's open her up. I had to not quite jackknife it in here, but uh, didn't have too much room to work with, but we had plenty enough. Got her in there nice and straight. Like exactly perfectly straight with the dock and centered. <laughs> Turned out really well. So they're in the trailer loading me up with goods right now. I don't even know what I'm loading. I have no idea what they're putting in there. I hope it's all good stuff. Guess we'll find out when they bring us the paperwork. I told me to wait in the truck. While we're waiting, I have a question for you. Why do dads take an extra sock when they go golfing? In case they get a hole in one? How do you follow Will Smith in the snow? You just follow the Fresh Prince. What do you call a fish wearing a tie? Sophisticated. <laughs> okay, okay, one more, one more, okay? Don't click off the video yet, there's more. What did the ocean say to the beach? Nothing, it just waved. <laughs> okay, we got the dad jokes out of the way, all right? There's more to the vlog, don't, don't give up on me yet. Don't click away, all right? Today is hump day. That means we're on our way to the weekend. And you know, Sunday is a, a pretty sad day. But the day before, it's a Saturday. <laughs> I won't subject you to any more today. I promise. I promise. No, I'm not crossing my fingers. I actually promise. That's, that's enough for today. <laughs> They're taking a little while to load my truck and I'm getting bored. <laughs> they should be almost done by now. So I'll be back to work in no time and we can get these dad jokes off my mind. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys do when you're waiting to get loaded? Do you guys think up terrible dad jokes as well? <laughs> oh, just me. It's just me, isn't it? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm weird. But at least I know I'm weird. There's that. I mean, crazy people don't know they're crazy. But I'm... I, I know I'm crazy and weird. Does that make mean I'm not crazy? Now, there's something to think about. At what point do you become crazy? Is it when you're unaware that you're crazy? Or are you still crazy even though you know you're crazy? I hope they finish soon. I need to get back on the road. My mind is spinning. You gotta hand it to the weather, man. It is raining. Only slightly, but he was right, I guess, or she. 
Go figure. Mark this in the history books. The weather report was right. Guess I'll be wiping down the truck tomorrow morning again. Here's the rain. We haven't had a really good rain like this in uh, quite a while. Didn't have a lot of rain at all this summer, actually. I'm just glad it's not snow yet. I heard that uh, Montana, Wyoming, that whole area out there, Idaho, that they already got snow. I heard South Dakota even got snow. You guys keep that over there, okay? I'm not ready for it. Yeah, you keep it over there. You can have all of it. I don't want any. I feel so bad for the guy behind me. He's on a motorcycle in the pouring rain. Someone didn't look at the forecast when they left for work this morning. 100% chance of rain, my friend. 100%. And you took your bike. Look at this guy. Oh, dude's getting soaked. Oh, man. Oh, this is why you always, always look at the forecast before you ride your motorcycle into work. Unless you don't have a choice, in which case I am so sorry. He's going that way. Have a good one, my friend. Get home, get dry, get warm. Yikes. That is not a pleasant ride home. That is just not fun. No. Or maybe he thinks it's fun. Maybe he's weird. I don't know. I'm weird, but not that weird. Not that kind of weird anyways. Is there a car in front of me? He doesn't have his lights on. I can't even see him. Can you see the car in front of me? He, his car is painted the same color as the road right now. The only reason I can tell he's there is because some water is being sprayed up behind him by his tires. Turn your lights on, people. Don't, they, don't all vehicles come with automatic lights already? Do you have a vehicle that's like uh, 2015 or newer and doesn't have automatic lights? What? I didn't know they made those anymore. I'm pretty sure they all have automatic lights front and back. Maybe it's a law up here in Canada. I know uh, running lights are in the front, but that doesn't always turn on the lights in the back. But man, my lights are on automatic right now. So they turn on on their own, front and back. So when it gets this dark or when it's raining, pop, they pop themselves right, right on there. Oh, you don't have to worry about it. Everyone sees me. Right, bud? You see me, right? No? Of course he did. He didn't hit me, so that's good. <laughs>